Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this Taylor Swift inspired look that I'm wearing right now. I got the inspiration to do this look from her new music video for Bad Blood, and it was actually my boyfriend who suggested that I do a tutorial on this look. And it didn't really hit me at first because I had just dyed my hair red, but when he suggested that to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I already have the red hair. I might as well do a tutorial on it. More so than just me having red hair, I'm so obsessed with the Bad Blood song. Like, I played it in the car the other day and my boyfriend was like, really, Brittany? I'm hearing this song again. I'm sick of this song. And I was like, too bad. So I'm gonna show you guys a picture of the look that I based my tutorial off of. And it's this look here in case you haven't seen the music video. If you haven't, quit living underneath a rock and go YouTube it right now. That's what I based my my tutorial off of was that look and I'm really excited to put up this look. I haven't done any other celebrity um, inspired tutorials except for Carrie Underwood. So I'm kind of also obsessed with her too. But right now I'm just like so into Taylor Swift. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. So the first thing I'm gonna do after I have moisturized my skin is go in with one of my ride or die products and that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Targeted Pore and Line Primer. I use this product in absolutely every single tutorial and I use it every time I put on my makeup. And I just tap it on the parts of my face where my pores get a little bit large and it almost completely camouflages them. Before putting on foundation, I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of scotch tape. I know it sounds weird, but I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand, tear it off so we get some of that stickiness off, and I'm gonna put it on the edge of my eye where I want my eyeshadow to stop and where I want that wing liner to go. This is just so when we peel it off, we have a nice crisp edge there. Then I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in the shade M536 or Milk Tea. And using a fluffy Sigma brush, I can't believe I forgot the number on this brush, but it will be linked below. I'm just throwing this in the crease. I'm basically just gonna use this as a transition shade in the crease that will give something for that dark color that we're gonna put on our lid to blend into. And I'm just throwing this in my crease with no rhyme or reason and just blending it upward really well. Next, I'm going in with this black shadow by Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Corrupt, and I'm patting this onto my eyelid using my favorite lid brush of all time. This is the Sephora Pro Shader Brush. It's the number 10 brush. And basically, I'm just gonna pat this shadow on my lid and then use swiping motions to blend it onto the lid and upward toward the crease. And then when I get to the crease, I'm just gonna kinda swipe back and forth to kinda carve out the crease. Again, showing you on the other side. And keep in mind with this eyeshadow that it is super pigmented. It's like the most pigmented black shadow on the market, so you don't need a lot. And since you have that tape there on the edge of your eye, you can be as messy and sloppy with this shadow as you want, because when we peel off that tape, all the sloppiness will peel off with it. Then to just kind of blend out the black in the crease, I'm gonna take this E25 blending brush by Sigma, and I'm just gonna swipe that back and forth with a little tiny bit of that corrupt shade on it. I'm gonna swipe it back and forth in the crease just to kind of carve it out and blend that black into the crease so we have more of a seamless line there. Then I'm gonna take that same Makeup Forever eyeshadow in the shade M536 and that same crease brush that we just used, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of that shadow in the crease, just swiping back and forth and blending out the corrupt shade in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take an angled brush by Morphe. This is the G29, and I'm getting a little bit more of that Makeup Geek Corrupt shade, and I'm going to start creating the wing of the eye. And basically, the way I'm doing that is I'm tracing along the tape that we have on the sides of our eye, connecting the wing into the crease, and then shading in any blank area. Like here, I'm tracing along the tape with the brush, and I'm making the wing kind of long because Taylor's is long. 
and then I'm gonna take the wing and connect it up into the crease like you see me doing here and then any blank space that you see I'm just gonna shade in with that black shade and you can be messy with this because we have that tape that we're gonna peel off it'll peel off all the messiness and when you're finished you should have something that looks like this Next, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I've been loving this liner recently. I actually just repurchased it. And I'm just gonna trace along my eye. And the same thing we did with that brush. I'm tracing along the edges of that tape. You can be messy with this. If you get it on the tape, it does not matter. You'll be peeling the tape off. So any mess ups will come off on the tape. And I'm basically just tracing this along my lid and just creating the wing like we did with the brush, tracing along the tape, coming down onto the lid with that liner and just tracing along the lid. You can put your liner on however you want. This is just how I do it. And then I'm gonna take the liner and I'm gonna make sure that I get into the inner corners of those eyes so that the liner goes all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner of my eye. So once you're done putting on the eyeliner, you can start peeling off the tape. And once you get the tape peeled off, you should have a nice crisp edge to your winged liner. Next, we're gonna move on to skin. And I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And I'm gonna apply this all over my face just like you would a moisturizer to add some radiance and dewiness to the skin. Then I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. And I'm gonna apply this all over my face except for underneath the eye area. And I'm applying this foundation with the Sigma F80 brush. This is basically what I use every day for my foundation. And I just use circular motions to kind of buff it and blend it into my skin. And it's perfect, love it. Next, I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. And this concealer is a few shades lighter than my skin, and that's because I'm highlighting with it. If you want to highlight underneath the eye area, you need a concealer a few shades lighter than your skin. And so that's what I'm using, and I'm putting it in an upside down triangle shape underneath my eyes. And then I'm just going to take this fluffy concealer brush from Sephora and just blend it into my foundation. Next, I'm gonna take the MAC Prep and Prime pen in the shade Light Boost, and I'm gonna do some more highlighting on the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and on the chin. Then I'm gonna buff it all out using the Sigma F80 brush. And I'm just gonna tap that into my skin until it's all blended out. And this is one of my favorite highlighting products ever. It doesn't show up well on camera, but it's so pretty. Then I'm gonna take Blanc Type by MAC and a MAC 239 brush, and I'm going to go in and highlight the brow bone. And then moving on to the brows. I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. First, I'm gonna comb through my brows using the spoolie side of the pencil. And then I'm just going to fill in my brows. If you watch my videos, you know that my brows have been going through quite the situation lately. I'm trying new techniques on them, everything I can think of, and we'll get through it. They'll look good again one day. Next, I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Pencil Brush and the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt and I'm going to darken the lower lash line just by swiping that color back and forth underneath the lower lash line all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. Next, to darken up the eye a little more, I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Gel Liner. This is in the shade Pitch Black, and I'm gonna apply that to the waterline of my eye. Then I'm gonna grab that NYX Matte Liquid Liner again, and I'm gonna start creating the inner wing of the eye. And I basically just started drawing a downward triangle shape and then connected it to the upper part of my eye and then connected it to the lower lash line. And I just kept tracing it until it got to the shape that I wanted it. And it should look something like this when you're done. Next, I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I'm going to apply this to my top lashes and my bottom lashes. I actually really like this mascara a lot. If you're looking for a new mascara, I definitely would suggest this one. Um, but since we're gonna be going in with falsies, you don't need a lot of mascara, just enough to make sure that your real lashes blend with the falsies. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my false lashes. This is the Ardell Wispies. And basically I'm just gonna take the lash and lay it on the lash line. Then I'm gonna grab the outer corner and place those where I want them. 
Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the inner corner. I'm just gonna grab those and put them down where I want them. And then basically, I'm just gonna mess with these lashes until I get them to look exactly the way that I want them to. But I was kind of thinking, I really love the Ardell Wispies and I think it would be totally awesome if Ardell would make these in the double ups. Like that would just give me life. Then I'm gonna go in and do a little contouring. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. And I'm just gonna put this into the hollows of my cheekbones using the Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush. It's an itty bitty blush brush, but it fits perfect in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm just gonna apply it to the tops of my forehead where the sun would, okay, keep your eyes open, Brit. I'm gonna put it around my forehead where the sun would naturally hit my face. Next, I'm going to apply this MAC blush in the shade Buff, and I'm just gonna put that right above that contour on my cheeks using a fluffy contouring brush. This is from Sephora. I don't know the number, but it will be linked below. Then I'm gonna go in with a second blush, totally unnecessary, you don't have to do this. This is the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso, and I'm gonna put that directly on top of the Buff shade just to give my cheeks more of a peachy glow like Taylor's. Next, for a subtle highlight, I'm going to take the MAC Bao Bao Wan Highlighter. This is in the shade Summer Opal, and I'm going to apply this to all the high planes of my face using the Sigma F35 brush. I know that you can't get this highlighter anymore, but another very comparable subtle highlight would be the highlighting powder from Hourglass. I believe the color is called Light Touch, but I will have it linked below. And then for the lips, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Alabama. And this is more of a burgundy red than a true red like Taylor wears most of the time. Her lips are more of a burgundy red in the video and that's why I chose this color. Then for my hair, I'm just gonna part it on one side and then I'm gonna grab a little bit more hair and pull it across my face so that my hair is kind of swooped from one side of my face to the other. Then I'm gonna grab an alligator clip and just pin back that hair that I pulled over. Then I'm gonna grab my Big Sexy Hair Hairspray. This is the spray and play harder. And I'm gonna just grab a piece of hair at the crown of my head and spray it on there and tease it. I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides of my head. I'm gonna spray the hair and then tease it. And then I'm gonna use that brush to just kind of brush out the top layer so that it's not sticking up everywhere. And then on the part where we pinned the hair back, I'm gonna actually take two pieces and spray it with the hairspray and tease it just so we have a little extra volume there in the front. There I'll take my second piece and I'll spray it and tease it. I'm just back combing to tease so that everything is nice and full. And once you get everything combed down, this is the finished look. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. What's that? Okay. You cannot listen to Katy Perry when you're doing a Taylor Swift tutorial for Bad Blood because um, I'm pretty sure the song was written about her. And Katy Perry, you don't mess with our Taylor. Skipping this. Get